Good morning. This is Bill from Monte Europa, Naples, and today I have absolute silence again. I'm on a streak. No lawn guys to be seen. I've got fog. I've got mist. I'm fighting, you know, moisture on the car, but it doesn't matter. There's no weed whackers. There's no construction, so I am thrilled. Uh, I'm also thrilled to have this 2011 Mercedes-Benz E350 Cabriolet. Uh, you know, the E-level cab, the E-level convertible, has been a staple of the Mercedes-Benz lineup for decades. And uh, they have become uber collectible, you know, unobtainium. I mean, you're talking, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars for, you know, 60s and 50s examples. Uh, you know, very, very expensive collectible cars. I see no reason why these won't be the same. Uh, this was the first E-cab in a while. It replaced the uh, CLK convertible. The last E-cab before this was made in 95 and uh, those are now starting to go up in value. But collectability aside, what a fantastic car. Uh, absolutely gorgeous to look at. You know, this 212 body Mercedes had the most beautiful styling, the big star in the grill, the sort of angular and teardrop headlights at the same time, the LEDs at the bottom. Uh, you know, this one has the AMG Sport package, so you see those big five-star alloys, the front air dam designed to look like an F1 car, uh, very aggressive, sort of intelligent-looking front end. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful car. This one is finished in capri blue, metallic outside it has a blue cloth soft top uh, probably the finest engineered soft top in the entire industry and uh, you know of course one of the finest engineered cars in the industry uh, you can see the lines are gorgeous a nice mixture of angles and swoops and curves beautiful led tail lamps uh, part of that amg sports package gives you the twice pipes there at the bottom uh, the big diffuser uh, you know, the chrome accents, the stars, shark fin antenna. This one has the rear spoiler. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous car. There at the back, you've got kind of these Batman humps. Sorry for all the uh, condensation. I, I've been fighting it all morning. I can't fight it anymore. It's one. Uh, these guys here are rollover protection with a built-in windscreen. So no more having to lose that thing or have it go away. Uh, when you press the... Um, the screen button these guys will pop up up will come the screen it'll keep noise down they also work as a very advanced rollover protection uh, let me show you in the trunk and we'll get under the hood and then we'll go for a spin so here you can see nice room for a four seat convertible uh, when the top is in the up position this big divider here that holds the top you can push that forward and reclaim all that space so you can have suitcases in there, some golf clubs, whatever you need. Very, very well-designed trunk. Uh, you've got your first aid kit there. There's our factory mats. Everything a wounded German needs. Down low, you've got your spare tire and tools and such. So a very nicely laid out trunk. Let's go under the hood. Look at that, beeped at me when I opened the door. And I said, like, I know you, I know what you're up to. I know what you're doing. Take it easy. Why does it beep at you when you open the door? Anyway, we'll get to that. Here is a 268 horsepower V6, 3.5 liters, buttery smooth, another staple of the Mercedes lineup. This has been used in a lot of vehicles to great success. Very, very clean under here, very well kept, very proper, all as it should be. Uh, this is coupled to a seven speed, buttery smooth automatic transmission. And because it's the AMG Sport package, it gives you paddle shifters and a sport setting. So everything is nice and proper and as it should be under the hood. Only 35,000 miles in this car. So low miles for an 11 and very well kept. All right, inside, you can it beeped at me again. God, why does it do that? Maybe because of keyless go. I'll show you that. God, this is, ah, oh, my condensation. I tell you what, I'm gonna wipe that down. It'll make me crazy. All right, keyless go works, uh, you know, as one would expect. It means you can, it's not really keyless. That's kind of a, a foeism there. You do have to have the key with you, but when you do, if you press that little rectangle here, it'll beep at you and lock the doors, flash the lights. You can, of course, turn off the beeping if you want. Uh, to open it, just put your palm on the handle and there it is. So. Uh, inside, beautiful almond leather, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this has a pretty high option package, P1, P2, so it does have the heated and ventilated seats. Very, very nice. Uh, wooden leather steering wheel. 
uh, almond and mocha, you know, dashboard accents, beautiful burlwood everywhere you look, just gorgeous. Uh, here in the back, you can see the subwoofer down there, Harmon Garden Sound, got some kind of a little wood roller there. That harkens back to older E-classes, that wood. That is genuine wood, nice to see. Uh, you're gonna have uh, people in the back, they're gonna be happy, they're gonna be fine, plenty of room. Stuff a couple of Germans or Canadians back there, you won't hear any complaining. And if you do, then the hell with it. Anyway, uh, up front, very nice again, beautiful ventilated heated seats. It's got the orthopedic package, so they're very, very adjustable. Uh, over here, you've got your uh, power adjustments, memory, lock and unlock windows, everything you need, automatic headlamps, and let's hop in. Now, I'll show you something cool. Close the door here. I'm going to press my foot on the brake and tap start stop. That's that keyless go feature. And now watch the seat belt. Look at that. Seat belt presenters. Very, very cool stuff. So when you start it up, a little robotic arm comes out and hands the thing to you. Now, if you have passengers that aren't indoctrinated into that, it's going to scare the hell out of them. And that'll be a little bit of fun. You can enjoy yourself. Uh, you also feel the seat belt tighten on you when you pull it back. It sort of tests where you're at, figures out your dimensions, and makes the um, you know computer... Uh, prepare the uh, crash avoidance as well as it can. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable how advanced these cars are. So now it sort of knows my weight, knows my height, knows where the belt is, knows the tightness, and it will, you know, act accordingly in the event of calamity. So very, very clever car. Uh, again, automatic headlamps, very nicely laid out instrument cluster. You've got your temp, you've got your uh, tack, clock, and gas, and of course your uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Miles per hour. You're going to need those. Uh, in the big, uh, in the middle is a very big information center. Uh, you can get your trip, your navigation, uh, audio controls, telephone controls, any different uh, messages you might have. Very, very nice tire pressure, and of course settings where you can get into a wide range of you know, let's see, convenience features. Easy entry is enabled. That's a good thing. Belt adjustment is enabled. Very nice and uh, so on and so forth. And they're just 35,000 miles on the car, lovely. Uh, over here, you've got Mercedes-Benz Command Unit, a very nice feature with a big hard drive in there. Uh, that gives you your navigation. And I was screwing around with that yesterday. You can change the, uh, the way the map is. Let's see that here. Let's see if I can find it, Navi. There we go. Text information, traffic information. There we go, map orientation. So you can have north up, heading up, 3D map, two-dimensional map. Uh, you know, all very customizable to your taste. So it's pretty damn cool. And of course you can, uh, let's see, you go full screen and we can spin in and out. We can go in, go down, see what's going on. Let's get really in there. Look at that, now we're up close. And now we got the Gulf of Mexico out there. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, what else do we got here? Let's see. We've got our audio. Very nice. So here's AM, FM. you got satellite radio, disc, memory card, Bluetooth audio, interface, auxiliary, so on and so forth. So you're not going to want for sources of uh, music or text or joy in this thing. Uh, you got your Bluetooth, of course. you got a video system. Nice, nice and uh, you know everything that you need also when you put it in reverse you get your trusty backup camera so good to go there uh, up top you've got a compass in the mirror garage door openers all your light controls and such look at this big electronic thing behind the mirror you know it just is amazing that's your rain sensor light sensor uh, you know this car really wants to know what's going on it will adjust itself accordingly uh, down here, you've got your, of course, stereo, uh, you know, controls. That's an in-dash changer. Also works the phone, so you can dial a number with the keypad or direct entry a radio station. There's your card if you're one of those uh, memory card people. And very good option package. So we've got heated seats. Nice, nice. We've got our cooled seats. Lovely. Air scarf. And that's cool. What that's going to do is blow heat. Uh, directly out of these little vents there. So on a chilly morning, you could have the top down and have plenty of heat coming your way to keep yourself comfortable. Nice feature. Uh, automatic climate control, both sides, of course. You've got a ashtray that's never been used for cigarettes, but has a 12 volt outlet there. Uh, I'll show you another cool feature here. This is the top control. If I press this guy, let me see if I can get it. 
You see that windscreen that comes up in the front? That is an absolutely brilliant thing that deflects wind up over the cabin and makes it so that uh, you uh, don't feel so much. And you can see in the back, the windscreen and the headrests all popped up. Put them back down again that way. If you want to run the top, all kinds of little compartments here, nice. Uh, you can do it with the key outside or you can do it with this guy inside. What I'm going to do is go outside for a minute and show you how it works with the key because that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Alright, so to do that, uh, first I have to find my key, which I now have. Uh, there's our smart key. Press and hold the lock button. Now you can see the top cover comes back. Up, <laughs> you gotta keep your finger on the button. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. If you let it off for a second, it just stops. Of course, Mercedes is very into safety, so they want you to be able to quickly stop it if some poor kid or cat or somebody gets their fingers caught in the mechanism. Now, I stopped it here for a second so you can see just how insulated and well-designed the stop is. When that thing is up and in place, forget about it. It's like you're inside of a coupe. So, going back to running the switch, up comes the back, down goes the... <laughs> keep losing the plot. You really have to keep this thing aimed or it just doesn't like it. Alright, there we go. And up come the windows. Alright, I made that look easy. There you can see the beautiful blue soft top on the car. Absolutely gorgeous with that capri blue metallic outside. And uh, I tell you what, when that soft top is up and in place, man, is that a nice way to have the car but not my favorite way to have the car. My favorite way to have the car is with the top down, and that's what we're gonna do right now again. So let's do the reverse of that. Hopefully I can focus more on pressing the button and holding it towards that little rectangle. All right, so there you see the windows go down. Up comes the window from the rear. Up comes the top cover. And down goes the top. Very, very, very cool. And that's it. So now we have our open top motoring at its finest, which we are going to take advantage of. Now let me get these in the cup holders here. Fire it up with our start stop. Get my little robotic seatbelt going. And away we go. So very standard style shifter here, quite nice. Uh, you can shift your way manually through the gears if you want, uh, you know, not a lot of people do. Here's economy setting, sport setting, pretty cool stuff. If you want a paddle shift, you can flippity flip with these guys and, uh, you know, barrel your way through the gears like you're on a racetrack. But that is not what this car is about. This is about open top cruising motoring at its finest. And man, does it do that well. <clears throat> it's just such an elegant car. It's lovely to go down the road. You feel like the chairman of the board, you know, taking a weekend off at the Hamptons and, uh, you know, everything's just right with the world. Very, very nice steering. Lovely feel from the brakes. Beautiful, smooth steering. God, it's just so light and proper and perfect. Um, you know, an E-Class just does, it does what it's designed to do so well. Look at this fog out here. London town. Uh, so anyway, what can I tell you? It goes down the road beautifully. Everything as it should be. Just 33,000 miles. Hi, up there, Kansas boy. Good Lord. All right. 33,000 miles on the clock. Everything as it should be. Just a lovely, lovely car all around. If you have an interest, give us a call. Again, this is 2011 Mercedes-Benz E350 Cabrio. Uh, very, very nice shape all around. Great color combination. Terrific option package. 239-649-7300 uh, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.